I'm here at the Kaima Electric Vehicle Show and I had the opportunity to have a chat with Linnell Johnson from E-Class Electric Outboards. So Linnell, could you tell me a little bit about how the company got started and what your objectives are? Yeah. And it was a retirement project, but it got a bit out of hand. We built a whole range and <laughs> here in Australia and really became a world leading expert and we're still the only electric outboard manufacturers in Australia. Well, that's just extraordinary. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've seen some news articles about yourselves. Um, in my early days, I was a journalist. Okay, wonderful. Well, that's just extraordinary. So, what have you put together? Uh, you've got a, a range of outboards, I take it? Yeah, we've yeah? got a range um, from uh, 4 kilowatts, which is equivalent to 8 horsepower, yeah. right up to 60. That's just tremendous. Very good indeed. And maybe you just want to tell me a little bit about this example you've got here. Yeah, so we're a little different to, there's not many electric outboard manufacturers in the world, in fact they're the under 20. Yeah. But we're a little bit different because we have actually used tried and proven two-stroke casings, mm -hmm. uh, which are tough, mm. and we have basically electrified the power head. Now that's very different to designing a pod motor or something from the ground up, yeah. and it gives us lots of advantages. Number one, it's reusing often reusing casings so they yep. don't erode your landfill mm -hmm. all the parts that you would normally use in yamahas and whatever are freely available if something goes wrong you don't have to send back to germany or to china yep. and for developing countries we can train mechan motor mechanics or even here yep. uh, marine mechanics to do retrofitting of the oh. casing so it gives us a lot more reach and I was particularly motivated for doing my bit for the environment mm. and I realised that with other electric um, outboards, the same as electric cars, because you needed a factory to produce that model, that it could only be for the rich and yeah. very limited. Mm. But if you're talking about power heads mm -hmm. and you're talking about training marine mechanics in developing countries and other then right. suddenly you could make a real impact mm. on mm. the waters and marine life uh, in a way that you couldn't do by a purpose-built electric motor so that's the big idea for yeah. a little company well i think it's absolutely tremendous and i imagine too using the form factor of the outboard motor that everyone's familiar with you've got perhaps less resistance to people taking it up it's a plug and play you could literally yes. substitute a internal combustion motor basically, for an electric yes. one yes, yeah it's the same. yeah so the the largest units you've got out there um I'm, I'm sure as it is with electric vehicles they'll all ask you about how long can i go for <laughs> what's the range yes. um what what practically can you do with a uh, well, an outboard like this. Yeah, an outboard motor is different to a car because a car yeah. comes with a kilowatt battery in it. Right. These are always separate. Yeah. So it would depend on your application and you can have go as long as you can afford the batteries. Oh, I see. But of course. I do do a formula as mm -hmm. a basic guide and that is one kilowatt hour per kilowatt of motor gives you an hour at top speed or right. two to three hours at mix speeds. Okay. So yeah. this one here is a 10 kilowatt. Right. If I put a 10 kilowatt hour battery with that, yep. I'll get an hour at wide open throat, which you rarely do in a boat. Right. Yeah. Or I'd get two or three hours at mix speeds. Mm -hmm. And that is basically... Yep. That is basically, uh, it's going away there. And yeah, it's all right, I'm just filming <laughs> um, and doing that. Yeah. And basically that's a morning or afternoon's boating. Yes. Which is basically what people do. Yeah, okay. So range anxiety. I mean, people go out with jerry cans full of petrol. Of course. With no gauge. And yeah. And they're comfortable. Yeah. And yet they worry about running out of battery without... Mm. A battery that's got a gauge on it. So yeah. <laughs> if you run out of battery, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's absolutely amazing. Good. Uh, are, is your um, marketplace Australia only at the moment no, or are you selling internationally? Mainly internationally. Mm -hmm. Like everything in Australia, they won't buy off their neighbour. Well, I want to wish you every success Thank for the future. You. It's really good. It's wonderful to see an example right here. Yes. Good. And we've also got, I would say, we're, mm -hmm. because we're basically an R&D company and we do a lot of development, yep. we've just done our first turbo jet electric outboard. Wow. And we have got a prototype jet ski in mm -hmm. the pipeline.
So we could um, see some of those examples on your own YouTube channel, yes. could we? Yeah. Um, at Electric Outboards. Lovely. Thank you very much for your time. We really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. So.